Right, but but I. But, you're but it's not a word that anyone you you ever heard everyone. Hey, you want to go grab a repast in, on in, uh, Tuesday? In, in, yeah. in literature, I've seen it. It comes up more. Let me ask you this: uh, uh, dinner and supper. When you were growing up, was it always dinner time, or did you ever use supper time? I, I think supper is more country. Yeah, is that right? It was yeah, no one dinner. says supper. supper. Yeah. Who does he? Grandfather. Grandma uses supper. Come Which in for grandma? supper. Is she from the south? No. No. Wait, you don't know where his grandmother is well, from? Well, I'm just saying it's obviously not my mother. My mother is a dinner lady. Yeah, I but say, she's not yeah, a dinner. No. But you Nothing know where did. Jamie's mother is from? I would uh, think. Yeah, I would assume St. Louis. I mean, she's Wait, born and bred. Can we turn off her phone? Oh yeah. My phone's never like ever. I keep out notifications on. Do you do that? Do you keep your notifications on your on your phone? We're on. We're recording. This is podcast now. It is. We're yeah. We're recording. This is all part of it. I, I wouldn't oh, have even. I wouldn't have even. I wouldn't have even introduced the concept of dinner versus supper if it wasn't for the people. Oh, oh see, but you got to let us. Know. Is this? Uh, do you really think I just is this I'm thing pull on? That out? Uh, who knows? Why okay. would I care? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're live. We I got a live. fork. I've got a knife. I got no food. But you know, want to know how things move at the speed of light. So this morning rolls around. At the around. speed of sandwich. This morning at about seven something in the morning, my tattoo artist, Matt Thornton. You have? Shoots, a I do. And he shoots me a uh, a little video about a sandwich place because he, he's really into okay. the show. He follows our recommendations and he's a big sandwich guy. Okay. So he sends me this video of this place called Sandwicha. Okay. From North County. And they've just walked in the room. And That's good timing. I, from from what I can tell on the video, it's it's in North County. I think it may be a a, a black owned business. Uh, I, I we're going to get confirmation of that. But more important than that, the video made these sandwiches look like the greatest things in the world. I mean, yeah, they, they really did. Good. So I shoot off a text to Jen, just saying, "Hey, let's add this place to the list." You know, figuring at some point we'd get to it. Next thing I know, an hour later, she's like. We're getting from sandwich. What do you? What do you? What do we want? What, what should we try? Should I get something for Brody? Yeah. And I'm like, man. And gonna, now we're filming it. I'm gonna do one of these things where you zoom into his eyeballs, so yeah. I can see the reflection and see what he's looking at on his Is phone. That right? He's looking. He's very no, intently. I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to turn off so I it wait. Go off. You that whole time that was just Listen, disabling alarms. You, you no, gotta was, give him I a free looking. pass. Oh, okay. You, you know what? I thought you had a lot. Let me go Dude, turn on my toaster oven. Right, keep let me, the let me, let me say warm. this. Is there a word for this, Terry? You're good at making up words. Yeah. You know that phenomenon of you go to pick up your phone with a very specific purpose, but the second you pick it up. You get distracted by an email notification or a text or a missed call. Mm. And so you divert and you do that and you wind up putting your phone away, having never done what you originally yes, set yes, out yes, to do. Yes. Happens all the time. It happens in many contexts. Yes. Too. But what, but is there a name for that? Just a distraction. Yeah. Giving that's, into a distraction. Yeah. yeah but that's the, 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 there's, I don't think the giving into yeah. a distraction like that to having your eyes take, I, taken I off don't, the I ball. Don't, but it happens all the time. I think the Germans have some like farfetch yeah, type word Yeah, they're word very for it. good at that. Yeah, at they shot with, and fruit, another yeah. one. Every, for anything you can think of, which is... Uh, they do seem to have... Well, what's interesting, just, for, for what to... I don't speak German, but to a really? non-German speaker, it doesn't sound like a particularly beautiful language. No, French is beautiful. Um, French is nice. It's amazing how descriptive their words are. There are. It seems like they're using it's language correctly. Language. Yeah. In that they're they're taking a whole concept yep. that would take like a paragraph to explain, yeah. and they give you one word yeah. that explains that whole phenomenon. Yeah. Like Schadenfreude. Like Schadenfreude. That's right. Which is one of the great words, which for the handful of you that maybe have never heard it, it literally means taking pleasure in somebody else's see, pain. I, see, I think it's a little different than that. I think it's the idea when you walk into somebody's room who's dying... Not the pleasure that it's happening to them, but the pleasure that it isn't happening to you. Uh, I uh, think you need to look up the I, yeah, definition. I think, no, 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 I, I think that, 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 may, that may be into. a practical think, application well, of it, but I don't think it's... what you mean by pleasure. No. You said the same thing I said. It's just, uh, whose pleasure? No, I, I, think, think, no, I, th I think that you're supposed to be getting a delight in it. 
No, it's, no, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I think that there's an act that you're yeah, sort of delighting exactly in somebody right. else's. No, it's no. it's no. like somebody you don't like and no. is always doing bad stuff gets caught doing something and is going to jail and now you're kind of happy for their misfortune. I, don't, I think you're wrong. Uh, well, well, I have I a definition know, I, Maybe they, Listen, it, a lot but, of words have more than one definition. Let's just but, look it up. But, but pleasure the derived from someone from another person's right, misfortune. But, but, but what I've described... Is not pleasure. Is ple it's a different it's, type it's, of pleasure. I think it falls under the yeah. umbrella, but I it's don't think joy. it's an exclusion. It's, it's the joy of... Now, maybe if you're saying... It's I've the always, joy... It's a simple uh, word. It's joy at another's misfortune. It's generally someone you don't really care no, much no, for. All I'm saying is I've never heard it that way. And I think... What uh, my definition falls uh, into that as well. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Listen, maybe listen, it's both I, I of think them. It's a I, think, I think that's a broad enough phrase I mean, to a, cover a, the situation yeah, you're a, describing. But I think. But I don't for, think it's that. You're that's trying the primary to intent. Yours, no, yours no. falls into the definition, but I think you're trying to limit. No, no. But the scope. remember what Germans yeah. are trying to do. They're trying to come up with a one word that implies a pretty complex set of feelings. The idea that you you're happy when somebody you don't like something bad happens to them, that's, that's, that's normal. The idea that you go into a hospital no, room I, I, and I understand somebody where you're going, but that's just pure Terry Crouppen. That's that not... you, would, you would not have any ill wishes toward them, but you're just happy it's not no, you. Uh, there's definitely an ill intent uh, in that. I, I, don't, I, don't, there, I mean, I don't, listen, hold on. he's reading the definition. Wait, hold on. I, Here's I, I the definition. What else yeah. to tell Pleasure. You. Yeah. Pleasure is something good for you. So yeah. you're happy about somebody yeah, else's yes. misfortune. No, you're happy that somebody else's misfortune you don't share. Why is that, that timer going off? What was I... I oh, I remember. I, mean, I was I, chilling I, a bottle I think, of ice water. Yeah, we we may have exhausted this, it. We've had the this. The point yeah. is, is German, it may, it may sound like a rough language, but it's a pretty incredible it's vocabulary. Very, there it's is a linguistics it's, expert it's a out there. Of, I'm, I'm talking. talking. Yeah. I'm talking. Um... If there is a linguistics expert out there, please call 612-444-4444 and let us know what you think. Uh, this uh, place looks you. great. And it's, if you look, it must be brand new. It must be. And because let me just looking reviews, at this. Look at those pictures. And We're their sign the real is, version of this. is really nice. They put some money and effort and thought into this place. The reviews are all very new. Um, so uh, this I'm going to wrap some of these up. So Sand that we can keep them hot. I'm going to see what we need to do. Uh, it looks like they mostly, they have sandwiches. They have something called burger slash chicken. I guess it's just burgers and, and chicken sandwiches. Yeah. And then they have wraps. They've got party wings, tenders, great selection of appetizers. You know, and look was, at this, a whole it, menu on cake. Do you see this? Did we get any cake? I didn't see that. They got a cheesecake, a vanilla cake, a chocolate cake, red velvet, white cake, I, strawberry cake. I hope cake. we did. I hope we white did. Strawberry cake would have been so good. I don't know why we Damn. didn't. Damn. I think we limit ourselves. Yeah, we do sometimes because we say sandwiches. We should say sandwiches and you cake. You know what? A sandwich it could also be a cute name for a very big sandwich. A sandwich. Yeah, we know. A sandwich with us. Which you we share it with somebody else. Maybe that's why they so called big. it that. I wonder, see, we don't have them here live with us. I would love to know why they stuck an A on the end. Like, what, what, I mean, not that it's a bad thing, we but I just want to know what they were trying them, to accomplish. I suppose we could call them. They got some good looking platters here, too. I mean, Andy's over there doing what he does best unveiling, heating, slicing. And for folks who may have not seen the last episode, I'm sure he'll show off our new cutting board, which was a wonderful gift sent to us by a fan. She also works with us, but she's a fan. Uh, that said, we do accept gifts. If anybody out there feels like you have something that that we might enjoy, we will be happy to take it. We but have no rule against that. But it's always safer to send cash, right? Cash is always best. Cash it's is just, king. It's, it's, cash, so, is king. Yeah. cash is the gift certificate it's that's accepted safe. everywhere. Then we can stop doing this. Yeah, and we were hang it up. You know what? I'll, listen, I, I will be more than happy if there are people out there that don't want to see if, me on the if, podcast. Yeah, right. If, for a certain amount of money, I will sit. I will sit an episode can, out here and Why don't you there. all get together and call us with sums of money for one or all of us not to appear? Have you guys, speaking of languages, right. you know, we talked about French being a beautiful language. I've started watching the Olympics. Oh. 
And there was a lot of well, French it in the opening. Yesterday, so. Well, yeah, I, but there was a lot of uh, in the opening. There was yeah. a lot of French. A lot of I French. Thought it sounded beautiful. It did you happen to catch Celine Dion's performance? I did, I did not. I did. It wasn't that magical. It was beautiful. I had I, no I idea that she couldn't sing. Yeah, she can't. She really I saw been very all these interviews for a long with her time. beforehand, well, and one interview where beautiful. she showed what her voice was like and it was cracked and terrible wasn't that and way. it was she nailed it i don't know whatever she had and to do to you, get it in, yeah. in shape it's the olympics i'm telling you she rose to it yeah, I, did, I it brought tears to my eyes did you see this controversy over the Which one? uh the one where they thought it was a gay takeoff on the last supper and they were just wrong what, what, I've not seen this. What? what? Was this? How during, did you miss that? During the opening ceremonies, there was a a scene of a lot of I think either Ooh, I large women or drag queens. I'm not sure. I think okay. the latter. Were, it could be a combination. Who were sitting around a table, and it came out the next day. All Catholics, all Christians are are just in rage because they felt it was a mockery of the Last Supper. Really? When I've got to see this. When it turned out to I be... Don't know how you could have missed a, a supper. ...a picture no. of, of a French, uh, the, like a meal with Dionysus, the Greek god of, mm -hmm. of, of wine, and, and it apparently it was a totally innocent thing that people have made a gigantic deal. Oh, of. well, that okay. never happens in our society. I mean, uh, that seems to be the order of the day. Also. I think that's all we do. I mean, what is wrong with, with people? For one, why, why can't we give a little well, benefit of the doubt? They're looking for it. That's the thing. You, they're just looking for controversy. If you look for it, just, you will find it. This world has enough it. controversy in it as it is. Oh, well, you're right. Why, why do we got to add it to everything? Especially something that everybody universally enjoys, the Olympics. Oh, everybody was boycotting the Olympics. That's oh. it. This is... The end, I won't watch it anymore. Really? What kind of morons? Uh, especially when they're just wrong. Oh, I'm starving. And, Can I take that? And it's not like they're coming. Yeah, yeah, take it. Are now, we, they're do coming we know back. which one this is, by the uh, way? Yeah, this is the, we got um, the Big Burger. Okay, folks, let me, I'm just going to look it up real quick. It's just a Big Burger. This is called the Big <laughs> Cheese Burger. Tomato, lettuce, melted cheese, sauce, and mayo. And uh, they no, put, I almost didn't. You know what's get... interesting? When was the last time you had a two patty burger where it was not a smash burger? Yeah, like that's two legitimate patties. Can you see that, folks? Hmm. Two legitimate patties. Well, that's nice. A little spicy. Hmm. Did you hand a lot more paper towels? No. Yeah. What do you think, Tar? It's good. It's good. You didn't bring ketchup. I it's don't a know nice sloppy burger. We got ketchup. I don't know if I want it. Well, no, say the word. It's a good burger. It's a good burger, but I do think um, ketchup would be good. You want some ketchup? Mm -hmm. No. I can't. Well, those fries are good. I must have it the way that they intended it. Get a bite. Oh, I think every burger is intended to be eaten. Is with or it, without ketchup. Is, are these fries like a poutine? Isn't that they yeah, are kind I guess of so. a poutine because they put Why not? some meat, but they went with cheese instead of gravy. Gravy. But other than that, it is poutine like. Mm. American poutine. Oh my. Yeah, they're good. And I'm hoping when they say steak fries, they mean it. They put the steak right on the fries. I'm hoping this is a preview. Of what the Philly's going to be like. I have to imagine The steak it is. fries. I'm looking out in the crowd, and you know, our gallery today, and we've got a pretty full room. We do. I tell you, they all ordered sandwiches, and they all look very happy as I'm sitting there looking. And I haven't heard a peep. Brody, how are those tenders, buddy? Great. These are stellar. He's, you heard it there, folks. Stellar you, tenders. Uh, Nobody is stricter when it comes could, uh, to uh, tenders than Brody. I wonder if somebody Brody. wants to call, what is it, 612? All, all fours. All fours. You know, about getting tickets to come to a live uh, show? Oh, yeah. If you're interested in attending a filming of one of these podcasts. And you don't mind a body search. Yeah, if you know. Terry does it himself. He's gentle unless you request otherwise. Uh, 612 all fours. Let us know. We'll have you come on. Sit in the gallery. See how the magic is made. I'm not sure... 
which one this is. All of them were labeled, but this one. So I'm hoping I can mm. figure it mm. out. This might be. Yeah, right. Who's coughing? Now, this place is up in uh, North Limburg in Florissant. The trackless waste of Florida. No, you ever been out there? No. It's well, huge. It's not. Uh, you know, this is, I think this must be the Philly. But mm. if we need to change it, I always like to get rid of the end, make sure you're getting it honest. You no, know, Florida is huge. It is. I think it's one of our larger, in terms of square footage, right? Isn't it one of our larger I municipalities in all St. Louis? What was the big mall out there? Northwest Plaza? Oh, no. yeah, I remember no, that. No. no, not. How about, the, was it the North County Mall? Mm hmm Plates. Jamestown. Jamestown. Oh, wow, that's been gone for a minute. But it was huge. Oh, my it God. It took, like, all day to get there. You know, I think Northwest Pla <laughs> yeah, on your horse and buggy. Um, my I think board. Northwest Plaza, wasn't that the first mall in America? I think that was our friend Josh's... Uh yeah, but I, I think it was like... The first outdoor mall. It was indoors. I think it started well, Once out. they put a roof on. No, I doors. don't think it was the first outdoor mall. Oh, I, I don't, don't remember Northwest I thought Plaza it was the, outdoors. I thought Northwest Plaza was the mother of the modern shopping mall. Maybe. You remember when we had all sorts of malls? Crestwood Mall, gone. They're gone all the over gone. the world, Northwest I think. Northwest Plaza, gone. Is South County Mall, is that still there? Yeah. That's still there. West County's still there. Chesterfield's about West to be County torn down. None of them are thriving. Is it the only one left? I guess. I, it's pretty central, but... And the Galleria? Oh, oh that yeah, one's really good, too. Oh, did you try that? Did I you did. Get it on there? It's delicious. And is it the uh, what you thought it was, the Philly? I think. Yeah, that does. And that's got a lot of layers of some goodness on there. That looks pretty good. No, I just went to the... Uh, you know, we have some dragon sauce... And some sandwicha sauce. Or is it mm. sandwicha if you want to dip a fry in there? If you want plain yeah, fries what, also, what we've got the, what was the more fries. Right. This, is a, this is a, a Philly cheese. Yeah, I think it's a Philly cheese. I and mean, this is very good. Very, very, very good. Could you put some French fries here? Do you watch the yeah. Olympics? Is that yeah. something you'll send? Watch? Oh. Is there a particular event that you like? Well, or do you just watch honest, whatever's on? When I was a kid, track and field was a big deal. Like at one time, I could have told you the world record in most events, or who at least who who held it. Here, you want some fries? I participated. I was a shot putter mm -hmm. in track, and everybody. It was just much more of everyday life than it is. Now. Why do you think that happens? And take something like uh, heavyweight boxing, which was always a big deal in the Olympics, and in you know in professional boxing. There was a time, and I can remember it, I lived through it, where everybody in the country would have known who the heavyweight champion is. Right. And now, I don't think after, say, maybe Evander Holyfield, I don't think anybody can name anybody that's held the title in the last 20 years. Oh, I, There's I just could, more going I'm on. A, I'm a boxing fan. Are you? Who's the heavyweight champion now? I have no idea. You could hold me by my thumbnails. It, uh, is it a Klitschko? No. no. That guy Yousef or something? All right. Ooh. Yeah. All right. How yeah, do you like he that? He beat up on, uh, what's his name? Yeah. No, I think it's just our attention spans are such that we want action, 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 and we've all moved to MMA and UFC and, yeah. and wrestling. Oh, my God. Have you, I'm sure you have seen the, um, I don't know what they call it, slap fighting mm. or whatever. Yeah. What the, what the hell's the deal with that? That's horrible. First it is. of all, how can that even be a sport? Because... Rich people wanted it to be a sport. You know, it's owned by, um, oh, what's the guy's, Dana White, who owns the UFC. Man, he knows a lot of stuff over yeah. there. But how can that be a sport? Because as I understand it, and, and listen, I mean, I, I guess I'm as sick as anybody because I do follow it on TikTok. I'm fascinated by this notion of people just standing there defenseless with their hands behind their back, like willingly ex accepting a slap hard enough to most likely knock them out. I mean, I just can't imagine how they aren't concussed. I'm sure they, oh, they in have every to match. Be. Have but you ever watched those in slow motion? 
What happens to the human face when it is slapped that hard is insane. Oh. You know, I think I may have had a concussion yesterday. Uh, what happened? I was getting in a car, and I was standing on a high curb, and when I stepped down, I turned around all in one motion. Yeah. And, you know, sat down. Did you vomit? So, no, but I really didn't feel good for a while. You had your bell rung, as I they my, say. The worst is getting a concussion. You can't even sue anybody. <laughs> you know? Couldn't you have had somebody I mean, else hit you in the head? I mean, what's the point? I'm telling you. It's, it's I tell people. I'm like, you know, say, oh, my back's bothering you. They say, oh, go to a doctor. I say, I am not going to a doctor for my back unless it's from an Well, accident. you know, I always say, and I'm sure you agree, there is no such thing as a minor concussion. Well, that's true because it's an oxymoron. Well, it's like are, jumbo shrimp because they're cumulative. That's what people don't get is the first one may not be the one that takes you out. The second one may not, but you only get a certain number of them before you have permanent brain damage. I think that's like, what do you call it? Like COVID. You can only get it so many times. I think we're going to have a, a whole world a full day of, of very reckoning sick over people. COVID. I, I think that could happen. This okay, is, so on the receipt, you could tell what we have. All well, right, that's smart it's thinking. it's SPA, 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 okay. spicy chicken wrap. Uh, Must be the, well, let's see. I think I'm going to have to get eyes on it. This feels like, yeah, this must be the spicy is, chicken wrap. Like, what do you think Ooh. the world record is? Okay, so that's a high jump. Oh. The world record for a high jump. How high do you think a man or woman man with, not a, not not with a pole vault just just on their own when they go backwards over the thing right 11, this this is going to be very very difficult wait hold uh, on andy what do you think what what do you think the world record is in a high jump just like straight the, off your feet straight over off that your pole. feet running wait a second do you approach. you guys honestly don't know what the I just I want to make sure we're talking well, about yeah, the same yeah, yeah. jump. Well, the, the no, the jump, not the bro jump, not the high jump. Yeah, 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 there's a lot of the high jump. jump. Uh, no, but there's only one high six jump. Six foot seven. I went with 11 feet. The world record is very right around a little over eight feet. Okay, so kind of in between. Am I right, Brody? Yeah. It's, uh, the guy from Cuba. Any yeah, relation eight to he's, Justice Sotomayor? No, he's... He's from Cuba, right? Well, there's a relation. They have the same last name, but interesting. Not by blood. Okay, I'm gonna need. How high do you think you could jump? Your plate, me? A four inches? Not, not high. I have a bad knee. I can't get up. Do you uh, think my friend good. Rich Fine? You know up. Rich? Yeah. He once jumped over six feet, and that was pro. That was uh, before before the Fosbury fall. Yeah, there was the high jumping. We had a. You know, it's interesting. Well, I, I was a I, shot I, putter. I think I, that might have been too thin for me to get a good grip on. It, 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 I told you this one's going to be tough. You're going to have to really finesse it. Like, what do you think mm. the world record is in the uh, pole vault? Uh, Cole, oh, the pole vault? Can someone grab me one of those spoons uh, over there? I think I'm going to have to 23 this. feet, 6 inches. Mm. Don't say, Brody. These I'm going 28 feet. These people are idiots, Brody. I don't know. Yeah, it's don't right around 20 people. feet. A Especially now. 20 feet. Especially That's when a... I'm these people. Yeah, I'm just saying. I was I was within what is, what uh, is eight it? feet. I put up with it this long. Brody, this what's is the where I draw the pole line. Vault. Oh well, wait! You, I and know my turn. I really said do. 23 feet, and and that's he, he mocked you. And I get a these people. Yep. Yeah, I feel like that's feet. close enough. Mm, Does nah, anybody want right. a fark? I went with the spoon. And let me tell you, whatever's inside this thing is delicious. Yeah. Where'd you get a spoon? <laughs> oh. I, I was, grab, why does he get a spoon? Yeah. I asked for it. I just assumed that uh, you guys had it under control. What do you think the world record is for running a mile? Three minutes and 48 seconds. That's 352. Pretty, no, that's pretty close. I think it's it's, it's you're, definitely you're sub both four. Here. Oh yeah, it's without wait, a doubt. Sub, yeah, I think three. What is it, Brody? With three, it's very close to 350. Mm, that's good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Can you imagine how fast do you think you could? And I don't even want to say the word run. Um, travel a mile in a car on your own two feet. 
Um, do you think you could do it in under 18 minutes? Of course. A mile? I could do a mile in less than seven minutes. I will bet any th- amount really? of money. There is no possible way. Yeah. Is on it, your feet. Is this based on anything? Just or just this what you think? No. No, 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 no. I, no. I, well, I, I mean, saw. when I was in high school, no, you, didn't. you had to do it in less than eight minutes. That right. was part of your presidential that, wait, fitness wait, yeah, but that doesn't the mean the first you did. part of your statement. Hey, I'm in better shape today than I was in high school. I was yeah, a fat uh, kid. Yeah, probably. Now I'm, but now I'm wiry. I, I've got probably, that wiry strength. But probably not okay. cardiovascular. This was the but toting around the weight then compared to toting around virtually no weight now. The spicy it's make chicken a wrap. Let's give this that was the best some braids. You got to eat it with a knife and fork. But it was delicious, right? Very, very I good. I thought that was the best thing we've had very so far. Very sloppy. But in a good way. Yeah. You... Great combination I, of flavors. I, I think you'd be hard-pressed. I think 10 would be difficult, very difficult. This is an answer we're never going to find out. We, we, Why not? we could. You'd have to get a GoFundMe going to get me to run a mile. 612-444-4444. If you're interested in starting a GoFundMe to see if you can get me to attempt to run a mile... Uh, I guess long, we could do that. Everybody's got their a number. How fast know? do you think you could walk a mile? Well, uh, assuming that uh, walking at a, even just a decent pace is three miles an hour, it'd be 20 minutes to walk a mile. Is that the right math? I mean... Yeah, 20, yeah. 40, 60, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel pretty good about it. Oh, you could walk faster than that then. Three miles an hour is nothing. Well, that's what I'm saying. Three miles an hour. So 20, that's my point. Yeah. So, okay. So, if a person could do five miles an hour, then they're doing a mile in 12 minutes. You go six miles Wait. an hour, that's 10 minutes. Six miles an hour is f- faster than I've seen you move. Listen, you've never seen me fall. But I've seen the bullet. I fall faster than six miles an hour. That's that's inertia. You can only fall once. No. No, well, you're just going to get up and fall six a bunch? Mile, I mean, you see a treadmill, nobody runs. I mean, you can run at six miles an hour, but that's that's a pretty good pace. All right. Well, then I'm changing my answer. I'll go with 10 and a half minutes. I could do a mile. You might be. I'd yeah, like to you see could that. Do that. I, the well, only thing you'd have six one two four 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 is your, br- is your breath. Let's get that GoFundMe going. Your breath. I don't know what kind of shape you are in cardio. Well, cardio. I, I've, never been a, I've, never, I've never been a smoker. I've never been a smoker. When was the last time? I was time? a horn player, so lung capacity, oh. it's been trained. Uh, when was the last time you played the horn? Been a while, been a minute. <laughs> not going to lie, not going to exaggerate, it's been a minute. Uh, no, remember remember that time, my, my son who's here, he played the trumpet one year in middle school, <clears throat> and uh, it's the only time I've ever had a teacher sit us down and, and say that uh, your son needs to give up the instrument. And find another elective. He said, this one is not for him. And I said, really? I don't know. He practices constantly. Did and you enjoy at it at all? Clearly didn't. I played the trumpet. He hated it. Now, now, and I will say this. I'm going to make a confession. I don't know if this is going to uh, impact my credibility. But perhaps you guys can share whether you've done something similar. Um, he had a practice log that needed to be signed off on by a parent yeah now i think this guy would understand oh that you falsified. i had to falsify it i just signed off on all of these practices everybody knew if a person knows it's false it's not really a lie because it was pretty obvious that he hadn't practiced at all they stuck one of those mutes they stuck one of those mutes in there just to quiet down the what would have happened if he wouldn't have signed I'm guessing he would have gotten an incomplete or he would have failed. I mean, yeah. I, listen, I got to look out for my boy. I'm not letting him fail horn. Well, and I had kids who played instruments that they were no good at. It's painful to listen to. Oh, it's, uh, I, I, I felt like it well, was. Well, a trumpet is. It was, it was, it was like assault. It was, it was, it was a criminal assault. And uh, so I couldn't be subjected to that. Have you done that? Have you, uh, without revealing which child, but have you ever fully signed off on did, something did they knowing really, that did they, they didn't make do you it? Sign no, it? I won't off? do it. Really? No. Would they sign it up? I, that's what, not true. It's not that I'm fundamentally opposed to it. It's, it, 
in a situation like that, I would absolutely do it. If it just they didn't have an aptitude, because it sounds like he was trying. But if they're just that refusing to trying? do it. That first day he tried. I'm not signing off. Let him fail. Let him fail. I, in fact, it is so ridiculous. I don't know if, if this is a change, but I feel like schools now, and this seems to be common throughout many school districts, like yeah, the, you, yeah, there's yeah. no, if, if you don't like what you got on a test, you just take it again. You don't like what you got the second time, you just take it again. Yeah, that's very. You didn't common turn in now, your homework, but, and you're against that. Yes, it's you don't turn on your homework. Eh, turn it in by the end of the quarter, yeah. and we'll call it even. But but you understand the somewhat. One of your teachers listening or watching this would feel that's a little Why? odd coming from you. Why is that? I lived with the consequences of that. Yeah. I'm not saying that I, I mean, studied it, well and and did well. I'm not saying that I turned in all my well, homework. Let me suggest. But the point is, is I you lived, did it. You lived with, with the consequences. With the consequences, and these it. kids today, they, they don't seem to have the consequences. And I hate to sound about, like that. What is going to happen to them when they go to the workforce and they don't get a second chance? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh, I, I didn't finish my uh, assignment that you assigned to me well the presentations today oh well, we'll just do it over the client will just come in again next week and we'll do a better job that's true on the other hand is there anything to be said for the idea that you know i i want people to spend time with this material and actually no, try to learn it nothing and i'll tell you why because the stuff they're teaching them is meaningless i didn't learn it i'm sitting here cutting sandwiches with you yeah just the same what they're trying what what is important is responsibility and consequences right. cause and the effect the overall executive skills are more important than the material is what you're saying i think so I, you know what i got to agree with you i think that, i think that's a strong argument now i mean learning how, but i also think that you benefited as i did from those situations where you had to pull an all nighter you oh, know cuz you didn't sure. you didn't pace it out right you put yourself behind the eight ball but then you had to get yourself out of it. I think that and was a great the most skill to learn skill. too. Oh no, that's not my plane. And they don't Thank they don't know. have oh, that skill it. either. It's okay, I didn't do it. I've got until tomorrow to get this paper written. What what is this, by the way? Is this a different one than the last one? It looks I the can't same, tell. but mm. is this a meatball or no, no. I was chicken. Is it the same? I don't know if it's the same. It's equally as delicious. Oh, oh actually I can tell you. Mm. Man. This is the dragon. They're apparently famous for their dragon sauce. This is the dragon chicken. This is the dragon fire chicken wrap. Yeah. Melted cheese. Yeah. Lettuce, tomato, dragon sauce, onions, and of course, some mm. kind of sauteed or grilled chicken. I wonder it's what the good. dragon sauce actually tastes like by itself. Well, I would imagine spicy. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on there it. There it is. Mm. Drip a fr dip a fry in there and you'll find out. Mm. I like this one better. What do you think gives it that kind of unusual pinkish color? Ketchup. Mm. What else would it be? Well, but when I combine ketchup and, and mayo, it usually is more like a Thousand Island dressing in orange. I think that's proportions. It did a, a guy we know, I'll call him Joey. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing his name is actually him. Joey. Yeah. No, it is. Uh, yeah, see, he doesn't, do you think he doesn't he change all the his name homework to protect assignments the always. He seems like he probably did. All of them always? No, I don't think anybody does. But well, you know what I'm saying. more than his classmate, my brother, did. Well, let me say this to you. I'm going to take issue with that comment. Brody, did you ever miss an assignment? No, not hardly. Well, one or two in my career. One or two in his career. It's, it takes a big man to admit that. So Brody missed one. If, if Brody missed one, then everybody's Everyone. missed one. Yeah. Uh, say what you will about him. That kid's got executive skills like no other. So you always did your homework. Absolutely. Not only did he always do his homework, I never had to remind him once, ever. I took never had guess. to say, did you bring the right books home? When's that assignment due? Have you studied for that test? I never had to do any of that with Brody. Well, now, my on. daughter, the exact opposite experience. Isn't it amazing that... You can raise two children in the same house with basically the same situation, and they can be so different. Right, which is, you know, it really does uh, humble you in realizing that we don't get to make our children. You know, we can influence. That's it. 
We're just one influence in a world filled with influences. The second they're out of your, your sight, and even when they're in your sight, they're on their phones between their friends, the media, the movies, radio, oh, the, media. the internet, constantly surrounded with things trying to, and we listen, we are too, even as adults. Think about how much time is spent in the day with the rest of the world trying to influence what you're about to do next. Like we're doing right now. Right. Buy these sandwiches. No. And uh, hire us if you need a lawyer. Yeah, that's actually, that's more <laughs> important. Let them, you know, what, they what should you, be doing do a mean, podcast plug in our what services. What do you mean by that? Hire us if we need a, if you need a lawyer? Well, I can't hire a lawyer. I don't have a lot of money to give a lawyer. Oh, oh he's funny that you should say that. So I'm going to go grab this hot sandwich. Ed, tell him. Terry, what do you mean? as you know, we are one of the only professions I can think of that puts their money where their mouth is. We tell people we don't get paid unless we're successful, and we mean it. People always think it can't possibly be true, not in this world. Everybody's so cynical. Everybody's so jaded. But the reality of it is we know our clients don't have any money. I mean, most people don't have extra money. They yeah. don't want to do it. They, they, they're living paycheck to paycheck. They're lucky to have what they have. So we but, have to work on a system where what, we only get paid if we win. What if I hire a lawyer, give him a bunch of money up front, oh and he loses my case? This oh is boy. why you never want to give a lawyer money oh up front. This is why we never ask for any money up front, ever. This, this is convenient. Nobody has any money. That's the thing people don't get. There's like five people in the world that have money, and everybody else works for those five people. But let's say I have, I have an accident, and I know police reports, <laughs> they charge you. How will I get the money to buy the police report? See, that's the other beautiful thing. What you, there's Pe more? People always think that they have to come up with money for those kind of expenses. See, don't, you? Don't. don't you? Don't no. you? No money out of pocket. Obviously, we, we, we advance everything. And, and let me tell you something that people probably don't know. Obviously, when did we start little, doing this? But some, from the beginning. But here's the thing. People don't know that we're one of the few firms that not only do we not make a fee unless we win, we don't even get reimbursed for any of our expenses. There's a lot of other firms out there that will lay out the money for the expenses. They expect those back win or lose. At our place, if we don't win, you don't owe us a dime. We take it as a loss. You mean if you guys put a whole bunch of money in yep. my case and get expert witnesses yep. and all kinds of exhibits yes, and sir. then you there's no money, I don't owe you for you that? Don't. No, I, we, I don't we think eat people it. appreciate what that means because, you know, on on a very simple low level case, we may have something a thousand dollars in it. expenses. But we have also had cases where we have probably approaching half a million dollars yeah. in the case. And yeah. if we don't win, we eat that cost. Take it on the chin. Just like I'm about to eat this sandwich. Listen, it, uh, it, I don't it, even know how we're gonna do that's, this. That's that's how we roll. We and, may have to go into the um into the shower in the other room to eat this. You know what? Just grab like a stack of it, like just like a scoop of it and throw it on my plate. I'm pretty full as it is. We have a shower here? We do. We do. Did you not really not know that? No. I oh, he knew that. He's just, that's acting, Have you folks. ever, yes. We are. Brilliant. Guys. I have never have taken a shower, a shower here. here. Have you ever that's taken a right. shower here? I have not. But I barely shower to begin with. Now, what we don't have here is a bath, and you're a bath man. Can you explain to the people why you prefer a bath to a oh, shower? Oh, my bath is giving me problems. Because I mean, you're both bath people. That's hard to, to explain. You know, and you, you know, know what? It's like, why do you like vanilla? What do you I mean? mean? No, but just like wait, it. who doesn't like a, a nice soak? Oh, no, well, here's, my people, right, here's my question. All right, here's my question about kidding? a nice soak. Number one. How do you get the soap off of your hair and your body? You're just putting it right back in soapy water. No, it's odd. There's it, how much soap water. is yeah, in Yeah, exactly. Water. And a lot of people think you get cleaner in a shower, which from my understanding, that is not the case. Even though I know you're sitting in your own filth. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily stick to you. But what happens when you soak for a certain amount of time in hot water, it's enough to apparently loosen the dead skin that yeah. we all have on our body and it falls off in a shower. You're, there's not enough water on you for enough time to actually get clean. So all you filthy people who shower yes. and think you're walking around with your hair all fancy, looking like you're you know, clean. I read that, nope. I read that well, book, well, Frankenstein. I'm the clean one. Yeah. And I saw the movie Frankenstein. Yeah. And I'm saving all that dead skin in the bathtub. Because I'm going to make myself a monster. Wow. Um, yeah. I think we should focus on the sandwiches. you start with the dead skin. All I got. That's all you have. <laughs> it's all, what, what else do I have? 
until the lightning strikes. Yeah. It's no longer dead. Okay, I am stuffed to the gills. Yeah, this food was fantastic. It was. It was good. It is a little. It's you but know. It's a little heavy. No, well, it is heavy. It's very a lot good. Of cheese. It's just. It's. Uh, this is a knife and fork. I have. Yeah. Kind of I have a. Uh, I have a. A mild issue with being an unlucky eater. Yeah. You know, and getting it all over like a shirt or a mm -hmm. jacket I'm wearing. You know, so this would be a problematic place for me. I'd have to be very careful here. If you're saying the scale is mild, mild, medium, and hot. What do you mean? The food? Well, when you say you have a mild problem. Oh, you're, you're quarreling with my uh, I think he it would suggest estimate. that you have it at, at a minimum a medium problem. I think so. Okay. That's not bad. I mean, I don't know why we you well, take precautions. Not normally, today. You, I'd well, have to normally be. Normally, you put like a tablecloth right, on your but body. I mean, to drag me through that mud for no reason. Not dragging it. Just people don't know me and my yeah, personal I think, he's I think you he don't wants know to paint me. a picture. And the picture has you covered in food. <laughs> Although, it's <laughs> not luck. today. There's a certain not the amount other day. of luck in that. I have had, I have dropped a French fry, and it can, you know. Rebound and and yeah. bound and leave ketchup it's like all the, the way JFK down. It's like the JFK bullet, the magic bullet, yeah, the magic fry. Uh, do you think the uh, responsible for six the different Trump stains. bullet will become a magic bullet like that? I don't think people care that much since you know, I don't know what yeah, you mean. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, I saw some place where they said that the bullet that hit him is the bullet that killed that fireman. You, you Have you heard anything about that? I have not. All I've heard I is mean, that there was an accusation that he didn't actually get hit by a bullet because they're saying that the ballistics would be such that even a minor hit would really cause more damage to the ear. But then, which I agree with, but then what somebody said was what know. might have happened yeah. was that he got hit with a fragment of a bullet because the bullet could have broken up. Anything could happen. Mm. I th and and from by all accounts, it sounds like he got hit by Listen, at least a part of a bullet. But he got it shot. really doesn't matter. He got shot. He was within inches of his life. And I think to, to split hairs <laughs> over counts. what exactly happened, we all saw what happened. And not one of us would want to be standing there. Um, and and it was that was well. I that mean, was really an insane. Somebody have you ever it, seen so much merchandise? surrounding any political figure as as i mean you can buy almost anything today donald trump related and i wonder oh. if any of it is going to be worth money have, have you, no there's too have, much of it you, you know been, collectibles oh, go i know, I know but that's the thing is a trump store no they have these things in florida i saw there's a bobblehead of him <clears throat> after he got shot with blood on his ear already and it was manufactured three weeks before the shooting so look dun, into dun, that. Dun, dun. consider that folks Dun, 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 dun. Was Wait, there was a Trump store in Florida. Let's not. Well, there over is that. A, a there is a supermarket in Florida. Frankly, one of the nice, the, the nicest it is supermarkets I've ever been in. It's called Seed to Table, and the owner is a very conservative uh, person who uh, <clears throat> has a a whole. As you walk in the store, there's a whole. I guess you'd call it a very large outdoor booth. Selling, you know, paintings, uh, you know, t-shirts, keychains, e bumper stickers. Now, none of that will ever be worth anything. But, but then, some of the higher level boutique items that the average person wouldn't like necessarily buy, like the sneakers, for example. You think yeah. that'll be? What about the uh, NIFs? What, oh, wait, oh NFTs? NFTs, NFTs. No, NIF. none of those are worth anything. But wait, back but to the they, store. But they were though. Yeah, they were. Well, didn't they sell for like ninety dollars? And oh. Oh, you mean the Trump ones? Maybe, but I mean there were some that got up into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Which is crazy. That's too easy the to board copy. Ape. I don't care what they but say. Who knows? So you go to this grocery store. He didn't even scratch the surface. Wow. That's the merch tent outside. Then you walk to the front door. Big sticker on the front door of Fauci with a clown nose yeah. on. And then you go into the store, and in the back there's a big. Um, store within a store, a my pillow store. Yeah. Um, Jesus. It is Christ. quite. A, but 
But it's, the food it sounds like hell. It sounds like you just described you know, some it, kind of a hell. It's interesting well, because remember we have a varied audience listening to yeah, us. but so and it's depending it's on it your is. stance. But it is controversial, obviously, because people who are Trump supporters love it. People who aren't boycott it. But even if but, you see, I can love a person and not want to treat them like a god. I mean, yeah. Once you take the humanity away from somebody, even if it's for good reason. I don't think it's it's good to treat a person like they're a robot. I don't think it's good to treat a person like they're a god. Yeah. Treat a person like a human but, being. It's a little bit easier to accept their, their, but I their think, flaws. But, but I think even before you get there, the problem is, even if you despise this man and don't want him to be president, you think he's the worst person on earth, why are you going to boycott the grocery store? Oh, if, no, you shouldn't boycott the grocery because store. Because well, here's the thing I mean, about boycotts. No, that's, that's an individual thing. No, ah, here's, not if you're I'm still not shopping a, yeah. on Amazon. It's not. Yeah, exactly. Then, it, then it's not a matter of principle. It's it's easy. And so you think you're taking some stand. But if you're still shopping on Amazon, then then I, there's no moral stand. Would you stand. buy a Tesla? If I wanted a Tesla. Yes, I, I wouldn't buy it. You have a Tesla. I don't. Not anymore. He sold but it. I he sold it? Yeah, I wouldn't buy another Tesla. But your wife would. Just because, no, I don't just think she would. Does she yeah. still have the stock? Because she was very proud yeah, of Yeah, she stock. might. I'm just saying, but this is my personal. Yeah. Now, yeah. you wouldn't buy a Tesla because you don't a, want a, a Tesla. If there was a listen, Tesla came, that came out well, that, yeah. that you both really wanted, you'd you know, buy a Tesla, you know as you should. Listen, you know we buy our cars from a company who got their start Exterminating as Nazis. Us. Yeah. yeah. And, and there are many, Actually, many I don't even know Jewish if that's true. people. Who would never buy a Japanese or a German car, but that, especially that takes after out all the good cars. Well, after World War II, the, that generation, when they returned, would never buy any That's of that true. stuff. That's true. And you know what? To me, that makes perfect sense. No, you know what? Does it? Because Germans yes. Yes, have become some of the, no, but the more remember, progressive I'm, but I'm people talking, in Europe. I'm talking about back then. Back then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Totally. If you were Today, over here fighting against. A country with the brutality in that war, as I'm guessing a lot of Germans after the war wouldn't buy American. Yeah, cars, but now, no. now you you can't even make those stands because a German car is often more American yeah. than an American yeah. car is. And also, who who once these companies are publicly traded, who owns them? It's the shareholders. I mean, I you, think, can, you can I buy think, shares I in Mercedes and BMW think, and well, Audi. I don't know this. But I are would they think, publicly traded companies? Yeah, I don't know. I, would, are they, I assume they are. Mercedes, you would think a lot of the money Mercedes makes ends up in Germany. I don't know. I would guess. I, I don't know either. I have no idea. I don't know. Oh, speaking, <laughs> this was crazy. So I had a car, a German automobile, that had some engine troubles, and they could not figure oh, it out. Oh, yeah. I know. And this was crazy. So they involved the engineers in Germany, and at one point, the mechanic here had some VR, virtual reality headset, that he is going in, looking inside the engine with, oh, right. while the engineers in Germany in real time oh, are watch. watching them, and they're trying to dissect the problem, which is just That's crazy. Like, it's almost like robotic surgery. It's crazy. That's pretty amazing. And what happened? They still couldn't fix it. Did they no, fix they it? No, they ultimately fixed it. Oh, they there did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what'd they say? Why, did, why was it so hard? They went you like know, this. It, it's, it, it, it's, I think it's like the human body. I think if on day one they had taken the whole thing apart, they would have seen it. But it's a lot to take the whole thing apart. And like the human body, it seems so easy. So they they, they're it. so small. And to figure out what's going on inside, it should be so easy. But you just can't see through the skin to just see it all at, at a glance. And so, so I did think they they're fix it? Yeah, of course. And do you still have the car? No, no, no. I, I have since relieved myself of that automobile and did you were you did you suffer an economic penalty uh, no that? not at all they they were they they were wonderful beyond belief um they have a new with the situation opening up in the valley although we've it's we, a haven't, service center. we haven't identified have we what's that we i don't think we've identified no which we don't need to we car. don't need to it's not important i will just say if anyone happens to know I the customer service that that brand provides is really second to none. Outstanding. Would you like to mention it in front of the millions watching? It? I, I don't sure. think it's a big deal. It's Porsche. It yeah, Porsche. Porsche. They, they really 
stand by their product, take care of their customers. It really, it's it's great when you see, and I'll tell you another company who, who recently I had an experience with who really their customer service, they did the right thing, which a lot of places don't. Um, the standard hotel chain. In New York, there's... Well, they, they, they have them all over the world. I don't think I've ever been and, there. And there was, we had... Uh, they were having an issue with their HVAC system and that caused some issues with the elevator. And so it was very, very hot in our room okay, and, I, and they I, did the best they're good. Me. There's not much they can do. Right. And that caused the elevators to break down because the elevator room got too hot. Um, and, and so the elevators weren't working. So they had to ship us up in the freight elevators. Um, anyway, this is a nightmare. Well, no, I'm I, guessing it wasn't I mean, a, a, it's, a privileged it, nightmare, it, it but a nightmare a nonetheless. It wasn't a cheap hotel. You know, it's, Although it's, they're not super expensive. No, they're, they're not. Um, but so anyway, what do they do? How do they make amends for this? So, well, I have a thing that I do when, oh when, when I have an issue with a large corporation that I've had great success oh, with. Oh, well, I want to hear about this. It takes a little work. You, f you, you research the name of the CEO of the corporation. Okay, and then this is what takes a little work. That takes Finding their email address. And that's not always okay. easy. And you email them. You tell them their trouble on the theory that this is an enormous company. It, it'd be like if if a stranger, I mean, there there is no correlation to our business because we're on, on such a smaller scale. But so you, either, you know, email the CEO of a big hotel chain or AT&T or whatever that the coffee machine's broken. They don't want to deal with it. But they don't. But but they can't just ignore it. If unless they so just ignore you, are it. Are you saying you get good results? Oh, from this always. Standard. Because what will happen is you'll have now the CEO. So the CEO bringing in some the, the appropriate person for it, and if somebody who is, you know, a, a company of five, ten thousand people, and on the food chain, your yeah. number forty eight hundred and number one emails you saying take care of this. You take care of Let it me ask in you a way. Question, but why would they even? So I uh, emailed the CEO see it? Well, listen, of the standard hotels. I, I know it yeah. sounds. But she responded in minutes. Oh, I was secretary. so impressed. And 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 then the um, the the general manager of this particular hotel, what could not have been nicer, really was great. And and I was hoping they would be because I really like the hotel. Yeah. It's a great location. It's reasonably what was their priced. Remedy? I'm curious how they remedy. They just that. refunded some of the money and were very apologetic and understand. What do they want to do? Oh, he offered me his time machine to go back in time and they could well, fix the. I mean, listen, in all fairness, you Wait. paid a lot of money for that. Wait, trip I have a question. They kind of ruined it. it I it, mean, no, no, hold on. It absolutely did not Only ruin it. Only because you could tolerate the heat. But what about me? It's it's not pleasant. I mean, it was hard to shower in the room because the room got so hot. We had to keep all of the blinds closed at all times. So you're like in a windowless all room. All the views but, you paid for, like, gone. Like, well, but I, I, I'm not the type of person to let little things ruin let, uh, let me ask you a, question. a trip like that. But that doesn't bother me that Let's say you had much. a lawyer. Yeah. And like myself. they were not responding to your problems and you sent them i guess no law firm could take care of or really even has time to listen to complaints from their customers oh we'll listen to everyone we listen 612-444-4444 if you've got a complaint wait, to wait, make, wait, we no, will no, no 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 if, if you have a complaint I about think, our business i think i and, and some I oh, i don't want to hear about a complaint about the business <laughs> no, no, about no, the podcast. no 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 I, I, yeah. I know but i'm saying yeah, you call three of them at this. They don't want to hear about it. Time to call take care of complaints from their customers. Well, I would say this. We don't get a lot of complaints from our no. clients, but we do get a lot of questions from them, and we always take the time and to And we'll talk to them really? for you. But if we, if we do have a client out there, you know, I had somebody Aren't where- Aren't so busy? You know what? They, they should never. You know what? If they're that busy, they shouldn't take on more That's cases true. than they can provide outstanding we service. We were at a parade. On. You heard it here. We were at a parade recently. And someone in the crowd, as we're walking by, said that they had used us 10 years ago and wouldn't use us again because of something that happened. And and I stopped and I said, please, my name's Andy Crouppen. Please call the office. Ask for me. Ask for my cell phone. If there, and, and I hate that there's anybody out there stewing over something that may have happened in a different time in the law firm that maybe wasn't even our fault and 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 not giving us the opportunity to talk about it make do right by them so if there is anyone out there in the kansas city area 
816-777-7777. St. Louis, 314-222-2222. If you're somewhere else, use one of those numbers. But no, we would want to hear from you and talk to you about it and and do right by you because I so much of our business Never is based... Never too late to right or wrong. And, it, and it's based Sometimes on referrals. Sometimes it is statute of limitations, but you, know, you could try. Half of our business is happy clients referring friends and family to us because we take that so seriously this is i'm going to share a little piece of trivia that i don't think the public would would, would think because they know us to be big advertising yeah. firms obviously we've been on tv for 45 years half of our signups are referrals or repeat clients that's right it's not coming from the advertising at all it's just people that have either used us before and liked us or they liked us and they recommend us to somebody half half of our clients that's right that's insane you know what if you call, now I'm going back to the 612. I'm going to have to start bribing people because either there's a problem with the voicemail on that phone, which I'm starting well, to think, I think there might we be. We haven't really pushed it very much because we show a lot of clips. Yeah. The clips don't really reference it. You're relying on people who are watching the full length episodes, yeah. which, you know, for the five of you out there, thank you. Let's uh, take one moment. Yeah. And I want you and you and I. Yeah. We will pause. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, oh is, is, is it standing or not? Can we get oh, a close up? Oh, no. God. Oh. What? Who does that? Me. You, it's Now it's attached to the back of your shoe. Look at that. <laughs> now it's in it his shoe. It's literally attached to my the shoe. Between my shoe. His... Clean. Who cares? It's my shoe. Look at this. Yeah. Clean. You know, you just wipe ketchup bit. on it. Um, give your best pitch for someone to call the 612. We will isolate that and we will use that to. Um, Ha inspire people to call and maybe if you decide it was ed that put you over the edge terry me mention that in the call but if you do call i'm going to call you back if you leave your number and i'm going to get you some free merch oh wow. free wow. merch that's well, right that, so you're bribing that's them. right that's fine that's, that's, that's what i said you know it it works for me i would just say that anybody who's out there who wants to be heard on any topic for any reason something positive something negative some idea that they've had Something that we've done that has offended them. Uh, you know, people want a voice. People want a platform so that whatever's inside of them can be shared. And that's why we have 612-444-4444. Let that be your platform. Share your voice and we will share here. And you will get their face tattooed on where oh, whatever space you, where, i have left today oh, i'm wherever. featuring my sammy the sloth let me see oh, that would yeah. be a great contest get your face tattooed <laughs> on ed <laughs> i love it i do That's, too yeah are you happy, I, I already have are a you happy that, that you, i love yeah, it yeah but you've got a blank canvas the whole body no, no we i fit do a lot of clients on your yeah body. but i don't care if they call or not not that bad Oh, Jesus. Yeah. This yeah, is going to be great. What, Stephen, which camera? The, is this camera road. good for me? No, I mean, really. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I'm not Quiet gonna, on the set, I'm please. I'm going to change. My, oh. oh. You're sitting there late at night scrolling. Everybody in your house is asleep, but you got something to say. Say it to me. 612-444-4444. I don't care what it is. You think you're desperate. funny. You got jokes. You don't yeah. like my yeah. shirt. You don't like Ter's shirt. <laughs> You'll notice I was quiet while Ed was talking. I wish that my father and Ed gave me the same I respect. I haven't said a word. You just did. 612-444-4444. Call me. And Ter we are not desperate. If well, you for this, think we any of this is desperation, you're crazy. No, we're not begging for business, but we're begging for phone calls. Come on, let us have we, a little we, fun. We, we Tara, like give your pitch. If you got another lawyer, call us and tell him about him. If he's good, we'll put it on. We won't say anything bad about other people. That's your pitch. You I, didn't know, even you know mention I really, the phone. I want to hear, I want to hear uh, people that can direct us to really good sandwich places. Yeah. I mean, oh. if nothing else, make sandwich recommendations. I totally oh, forgot about it. this. I don't know how this slipped my mind. A friend of mine, before I knew him, and there were articles in the newspaper about him who went to, I guess he determined there were seven main sandwich places on the hill. Seven main sandwich Sand, places. Yes. Okay. Um, he went to every single the one of Adriana's them Adriana's Joy is and ate every single item on You're every lonely. single menu. Hmm. Lunatic. That's amazing. It was okay. like 150 well, sandwiches now, or on. something. So Adriana's, Joy is. He doesn't know. Amagetti's. Joe you know, Fossey, you, you know. Eovoldi's. Wow! 
That's five top sandwich places right here on the hill. What are the two that I'm One missing? One no longer exists. Mama Toscano's. I don't think okay, no, that's, is, no, is no, there that's, anymore. No, there's Mama Toscano's. It's still, still around? I thought they closed. I don't. Or maybe, maybe they don't make sandwiches anymore. And what was the seventh? Uh, Urzi's, U R Z I, I think. No, we had place, isn't it? Yeah, uh, they got sandwiches though. Really? Is it, wait, what is it? I think that's you, the place that's that's up on Southwest that a lot of people go to get their their meats there. Uh, yeah. What's the name? Of? Hmm. Utzi's or no? That might maybe that's too Jewish sounding. I don't know. But no, it's I, but they've got they, everyone goes there to get the sausages. You know what, what's amazing? If you want to see something, see, there's there's miracles all around you. You just have to take the time That's to look true. for it. That's true. The Di Gregorio Market here has an entire wall, a, fru a fr freezer case wall, filled with ravioli of every variety oh, it's great. that you could imagine in the world, both in toasted ravioli form and also just traditional boil ravioli. Beef, cheese, spinach artichoke nice buffalo people. chicken nice people too i mean the list goes on it's just anything you could think to stick inside a ravioli these people have done it for you and they've made it available for purchase you know i'd like to see a uh, okay raviolis he, of the world he ate 158 yes. sandwiches it was Adriana's, Amagetti's, Joya's, Mama Toscano's, Uvalde's. Uvalde's. Uh, Joe yeah. Fossey, Southwest Market, Eovaldi's, J. Viviano's, and Urzi's. Okay, so J. Urzi's. Viviano's, they're still around. I left them out. Southwest Urzi's. Market. Um, that seems like more than seven places. Well, maybe I didn't count it right. But in the article, they call him officially king of the parentheses sandwich let's bring him on hill that's what i was saying i was thinking maybe he could pick his four or five favorite sandwiches hey, on the hill riverfront um, times the rft, RFT yeah Wait, I thought they closed. Yeah, but this article still oh, exists. Old, they didn't delete everything old, they've ever yeah, written. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't delete everything from online. Anyway, yeah, I was say I texted him. I haven't heard back. I just thought of it a couple hours ago. We should have him on, and we he will give us his four or five favorite sandwiches from the Hill. We'll have them, and we'll eat them all together. Oh, we got to bring this guy on. He's yeah. got a uh, secret menu item, uh, apparently, at Joya's, too. Oh, I want to hear about oh. that. Uh, I think I could tell you. Do we have a metal detector? Yeah, we want to make I sure. I mean, a guy like this. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, I want to just make sure. He could be looking to cause evil. He's but got I, a lot of, you know, that's kind of weird. He's though. got a lot of affection. It is. Oh, oh by the way, if anybody has been abducted by a UFO or really uh, any kind of kidnapping, I suppose, we'd be interested. Uh, I would like to get them to call us on the thing and we will give you a forum to tell your story. Okay. Or a Bigfoot. What about like a near it? abduction? Is that a good that enough counts. story? Oh, on uh, the Morning After podcast, I mentioned this thinking it's likely that someone in their audience has been abducted by aliens. And I haven't heard yet, but somebody chatted in and said, someone, I, someone in your firm who I am very close with, I know well, can vouch for me that I had some encounter in a forest, that person was supposed to identify themselves to us. I have not heard no, anything. No. So I have, a, I have a weird guess on that, but I'll tell you. Uh, Justin Brugenhemke is my friend, uh, and man, can he cook. That's unrelated. It is the Hill Topper um, at Joya's secret, secret menu item. It's got gabagool, hot salami, Hot what beef, spicy jardinera, and your yeah, choice of cheese on meat. toasted garlic bread. It's capicola. capicola, but in New York, Italians Gabba. will call it gabagool. Oh, that's Gabba like, uh, what do you call it? What's mortadella? More, yeah. Ham? Yeah. Mortadella. No, yeah. it's different. Cappy. Gabagool, cappy ham. It's a ham. Capicola. Mortadella is really just fancy bologna. I like ham. Ham? Everybody You does. know what? I grew up, I never had ham until I was an adult. My mom never served ham. We're and Jewish, it wasn't, we're we Jewish, will not but have ham. We had bacon, we had pork chops, right. never ham. I think maybe we, we, you need a larger group to do a whole ham. Well, you, know, you could buy, I guess, well, cold cuts, I guess you get. But. Yeah, I never, that was, I was a turkey man. I was a turkey. But, uh, I, but going back to the thing, I would love to get somebody on about UFOs. I have great interest in this whole subject, and I'd like to talk to somebody who knows something about it knows something about it. Do you know what I mean? Knows 
something basically about he's looking it. to be anally probed that's what no, it sounds like to me by a nose i wouldn't mind somebody else hey why jen would, will you send me the... those tiktok uh I, algorithm no, no, words you, do, you can't think of an abduction once. without an anal probe i think uh, no that, no we got new gotta joints. be made up well in other words I what's can't, made up i'm not a doctor we could call you a doctor friend what would be the advantage of anally probing somebody over just sticking a needle any place you wanted to. Well, there's an I opening think, there. I think that's just to make Wait. alien abduction that much more horrible. Did you ever see the movie what you're Fire? Into. Wait, you ever wait. seen the movie Fire in the Sky? No. Wait, Wonderful which one is movie. that? Really? It's the one with uh, James Garner's in it. It's about guys in a logging team. That must have been really old. He's been dead for quite a while. Right. It's it's an older movie. But at the end, they show what happened to the guy that, you know, they've been trying, he's been trying to tell everybody that he was abducted and nobody believes well, him. Uh, you know what? And then at the end, they show the happened? abduction. And I'll tell you, it's scary. Well, let me ask you this. In all fairness, why wouldn't we believe in that? We know we have a ton of missing people and everyone has been out there. Everybody's looked for them, can't find them. And yeah. we're talking millions of people. Yeah. Why is it so easy for us to believe that? They were taken, disposed of, and we'll just never find them. Although, Why all, not an all abduction? All the alien abductions are people that were brought back. Well, no, those are the ones we've heard from. Right. I mean, we, so we don't know. I'm just saying, well, I, I, how, who would say that all the missing people oh, weren't abducted? There's nothing to say. Wouldn't I that just be cool don't if they were and they're happy? But it, I was going to say, in this, on uh, Mars. In, in this movie, at the very end, they show a probe, but it's through the eye, and the guy's stuck down on a table, and this needle is coming down, sharp needle toward him, and, you know, it, Honestly, it goes Honestly, I'd rather right them probe his... my behind. Yeah, yeah, and that's all Terrica oh, thing. Yeah. Why would I they mean, do that when they could two. just... I'm very sensitive yeah. about my and eyes. You don't, you don't know their technology, so we have needles that exist, Hold and we have second. anal probes that exist. Andy, they're different uses. I know their technology. Oh, Okay, well, he I'm knows their saying, technology. I don't, I don't like to it, give it, it depends away. on what they're looking for. What if what if our feces is is their fuel? Honestly, what if what if somewhere in the feces is the cure for whatever disease is wiping out their planet? Yeah. Oh wait, somebody just walked in with ice cream. Yeah, uh, that looks like a, a bunch of Ted Drews. Do we have any strawberry? <gasps> <gasps> wow. Why? What is? What part of the show is? I'm going to donate my ice cream to any of you that want it. Yeah, me too. You're not I'm an not. Ice cream I, it's it, not that I I'm not. I'm stuffed anymore. right now. And you know what? I got to tell full. you. And maybe you folks watching have we noticed. Just, we just need one strawberry. That Please. my energy seems a little bit drained. This is the first time during one of these that the food has given me a the little food. bit of a food coma. Oh, look at that! You got strawberry. There you I go. Know. She oh, said strawberry. Yeah. Strawberry's this is, good. This is your day. You know, strawberry's good. Yeah, I, I, I got a couple things to say. Yeah, what uh, do you got? Oh, is this a gripe or a complaint? Or? No, no, no. What grinds your gears? Flamingo, high taper, side part, back to school shoes, Roger Old, Rolls Royce, and Cuddle Cot. Oh Jesus! You know he Jelly just ordered. Shoes. He just ordered the uh, the murder. Of, Are you challenging me? That's that's like Manchurian Candidate stuff. Ronaldo payphone. What is happening? Giggle what is, stick. What are you doing? What is this? Kiss me, liar. How do we get him to eat the ice cream instead? What are you doing? Goddess braids on white girl. Pointing dog. I am manipulating the TikTok al algorithm. Yeah, you're Which, confusing let me tell you something. It. You're confusing No, it. no, no. It works. They have sophisticated AI. Somebody I know... Um, who shall remain nameless Why? Turkish recipes African Fanta how to make pancakes someone I know went live on TikTok someone else I know was there and jokingly said something about like um, like child trafficking or something made an off color joke oh god instantly the algorithm during the live, the FBI knocked on his door. No, that was later. The algorithm heard it. Live went dead. His account was disabled instantly. Wow! And they want to get rid of TikTok, right? When they're the only people out there doing anything right. 
Uh, let's talk about French onion soup or Turkish recipes. I like French onion soup. African Fanta. You want to talk you about homemade you to talk fries? About French onion soup. I got the ball Spaghetti rolling. Spaghetti Rojo. On. I think we're done, and I think this algorithm. What's a giggle stick? Uh, I don't know. Sounds like something in the urban dictionary. I know what, what a, is I know what a Project rain stick Fifty. Is. I don't know that either. Warriors versus Kings. I know what that is. That sounds like a basketball game. What is that? Warriors? Well, the Warriors yeah, versus the Golden Kings. State. Or did you say Warriors? Are you challenging me? You know, what's the... That, that's Tropicana a good Orange why, why Juice. Why don't they have a, a, a sports team that's that, 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 that the Warriors? Why do they have to be Warriors? Why can't they be Warriors? Warriors? A, lot, a lot of people worry a lot more than they than they. They're worried fight. they're not going to win the championship. But then you think uh, the Mighty Ducks would be just as silly. Or the right, Pelicans, but, right, I but think, is a one. silly name. Do you think that the St. Louis got the name Cardinals uh, as a play on the fact that we're a very Catholic town? No. And that that's sort of a, you know, it's a religious are position. Are Cardinals the bird? Are, are those a Midwestern bird primarily? I feel like I don't see those out of town much. I feel like I see them more yeah. here. You think the organization is seeding the the area with card, actual Cardinals? I, That'd be kind of cool if they did. It'd be great promotion. It'd be great but, marketing. Yeah, but I, I, I don't think. Did just looking know? at their player development system, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think that they're up to the task <laughs> on the card. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know this until recently. I, I've been seeing recently. Did you know that uh, pigeons were originally domesticated, and we use them carrier pigeons. You know, they were sure. at one time, I think, used quite heavily, and then we're like, man, we got telephones and just kind of forgot them all. That but. Was it. But but apparently, I don't know if all of them were domesticated or if... Remember in the movies, you'd always see like uh, bird guys up on a roof uh, in the city. Yeah. They'd have a cage up there. They'd be keeping pigeons. Mike Tyson was a, a big carrier pigeon guy. Well, what do you Still think? is. What, what do you think? A tiger. He did have a yeah, tiger. Yeah, a tiger too. But what's the, uh, what, what's the deal with keeping pigeons? I, I, I mm. think they were... Well... I think in cities like New York at one point, they I think organized them. crime organized crime used them to run numbers and things like that. Really? Yeah. You never see that in the movies. You should. You know, you get you do it animated, you get but the hero the, to be the oh, voice of a movie, pigeon. Of birds, I didn't but tell in the you movies, this. movies, they're all like pets. The pigeons. Yeah. yeah. So I, I have a hot tub. And before you start on be the mine. everyman thing, it was free. Although you can't imagine how much a free hot tub costs Wait, to move yeah. and install. Most who, of us don't travel on, in circles. My father with gave it to me. Who on earth would give you a so free hot tub? I leave tubs. the cover up on the hot tub about two months ago for a couple days. Ooh. And in that time. Bird's nest? Yes. On the I top saw right of it. where it was coming. A bird makes a nest, a bird lays eggs. A bird, two two little baby doves are born, right? Oh, that's beautiful. And, but I'm watching this closely, and I put a, a, a tarp over the water just so the babies didn't right. fall in. That I don't know how nice gracefully year. they leave the nest. All great. A, a little frustrating because I'd like to close it. The nest is falling into the hot tub. I'd rather not disturb them. So we're out of town. Our neighbors tell us good news. The babies have left. The mother is gone. It's clear. I get back into town two days later. There are two more eggs in the damn nest. Wow. And so now the cycle begins. The cycle again. continues. The babies are born. The, the, and the other day, I actually saw them and they had left the nest, but they're like a few feet away on the edge of the hot tub. Then they went back to the nest. This morning, I think they were finally all gone. You know what so what are you doing here? Let me let me right? let, let me share this uh, about birds. You know you notice with sometimes they'll fly right in front of your car, and you're like, and they put themselves in danger of being hit by a car. How freaking stupid is that? I mean, they're birds. They could stay above everything. Why would they put themselves in, you, in danger? Have, now have, I understand sometimes they're eating a worm on the you, street, but I'm ever, talking when they fly. In front. I need how, a question. I need an answer to my question. But have first. you ever seen how big a bird's head is? Yeah, and I've heard the expression bird brain, but right. I'm just I saying, mean, how stupid. They, well, they're not. They're I saw, we, Steph and I were driving, this is a couple of years ago, and we're at the exit on a highway, and r the car in front of us, a massive owl, flies right now into the driver vicious. window. If that guy had had his window open, yeah, he'd be he dead. was 
done done because they are mean uh, birds owls are vicious don't be don't be thrown by that no. one that that licks the lollipops on the tv they're owls not like that predators. in real life they're, 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 yeah. yeah they they are have you ever seen the staircase the documentary no oh yeah 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 watch the whole thing and then watch on netflix the epilogue that talks about the owl theory and i which i believe is the correct owl theory yeah oh this is disgusting i hate oh, to even point this awesome. out if you are TSA pre and you live in St. Louis, you may know what I'm talking about. Know, and if TSA not, you will never forget Louis. this. You go on Southwest, the TSA pre entrance. Mm -hmm. After you go through security, yep. when you're going into the airport, yes. there's a big wall of glass. Yes, it is. They do not clean up the birds on a daily basis, clearly, because every once in a while, when you go through, if, if, if it's timed right, when they haven't cleaned, there will be 50 dead birds on the ground right outside the window. It is horrible. They should have somebody cleaning that every now, day. Now, let me ask you this. Could we have solved that problem? Why does glass have to be clear from the outside like that? I There's got to so be something the they can do. Well, what do you mean? You could have it clear from the inside, like a two-sided mirror. You know, you I have, feel like you they could, could look do out something. one side, Wait, or, or like some sort of sonic, like a speaker that deters birds. There's got to be something they could do. I mean, a lot but of birds are paying the ultimate price. If you're just in for charge us to have glass at Lambert, please, you got to clean that up more regularly. Yeah, and let me say this: there's a long list of things to do at that airport. I'm oh, I be, love that airport. I love it, but I'm going to be very upset if we kind of lose Southwest as our hub. You know, Kansas City, their airport's beautiful now, and I'm just worried that that Southwest is going to make uh, Kansas City their kind of their hub. If, I hope if not. anybody wants that, they can have. Have what? St. Louis isn't going to fight for anything. We don't have anything to fight with. No, we I don't I, have I, the economy. We don't have rich. Yeah, let, you know we what? Uh, this is this. this let, let's not, because I don't want to have a big debate, and I don't think it's fair to not air this out if we're going to go there. That's true. We, we, can, we, we can, We'll save that for yeah. the next episode. Yeah, Ooh. I feel like this one's this come a, to an this end. Is a, I think so too. It's a cliffhanger. That's there you right. go, folks. Cliffhanger. If you want to know what happens, six one two four 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 forty four forty four. See, that's what it's going to look like next. Oh, I thought that's you right. wanted me to talk about no, white no. girl and Goldilocks next girls. Next time we're going to have it? a heated conversation about St. Louis and why we don't fight for anything. We fight for things. Like or at what? least we fight. God oh, fights on white girl. For what? But not for anything. For what? Kiss me, what liar. What we fought for and what? Pointing Nothing. dog. S's, S's and, and G's. Shits and giggles. Giggle stick. Kansas City's getting the World Cup qualifying games. I know. They're getting everything over there in Kansas City, which is beautiful. Listen, I love Kansas City. That's a city on the rise. And I, love I just want to know, how do we juice. make that happen on this side of the state? Yeah, that ship is That's sad. a wrap. There you go, folks. Next time. Tune in. Back to school shoes. Oh, God. <laughs>